Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel and this is the quick look at what is the latest dev channel build of Windows 11 released today, build 22504 and this is of course uh, the usual Wednesday build that comes as a cumulative update for Windows 11. Uh, for dev channel insiders, this is a look technically at features from the future that might or might not make it to Windows 11 eventually. So today we have one of the first options is the personalization settings for the text input that has been updated. Some people will see it. Let's go here to settings. We'll go to personalization. And here we will look at uh, touch keyboard input uh, stuff. So touch keyboards and uh, text input should have different uh, personalization and themes. So um, I don't know if I uh, have any of that here. So uh, we've got, of course, uh, touch keyboard themes. Yep, this is pretty much it. So this is where everything should be. And um, it doesn't seem that I might have the exact personalizations that they are showing. Some of you might, some of you might not have it. And uh, of course, in text input, uh, all sorts of stuff that you can uh, uh, do here. Type settings, typing settings, uh, open keyboard, and yeah, nothing. Uh, probably don't have exactly what they are um, actually talking about here, as it doesn't seem to be what they are actually talking about. But lots of themes and personalizations in the keyboards. Uh, I do have the, well, maybe I do here in the uh, touch keyboard themes, but um, that's, yeah, here. This is all the personalization stuff, probably. So you can choose default and have the different keyboard themes. There's uh, emoji stuff also that's uh, available. Uh, some of those are emoji. Um, you know, a lot of people like emojis. I don't use them much, but they are very popular. So um, basically, you can have in the different emojis of Windows uh, personalization and each can customize your own emojis if you want. So by uh, actually creating a personalized experience with the emojis uh, that you might uh, want to have. Uh, Windows, there we go. Here's the panel for emojis. So of course, uh, in here, some of you will see a panel where you can actually, and I don't have all the options as this is a simpler form. So some of you will see more options and you'll be able to actually, um, you know, check emojis for um, personalization purposes. So when you click on them, you'll be able to customize the, the color, the skin tone and so on to have something that looks more like uh, what you should have. I do not have uh, these uh, these settings and I, I don't have all the icons that they actually show so nothing here for you to show on my computer one thing that I do have that is actually rolled out is the new your phone app so with this build 22504 rolling out a new rounded edges um, you know uh, your phone app so these are photos of my cats and uh, of course, uh, you have all the, uh, the, the the stuff that you can do, the apps, the calls, and so on. It looks like pretty much the regular version, but it is um, really more modernized and, and follows the Windows 11 themes and, and of course, the rounded edges and so on. If you have a, a Samsung Galaxy phone um, or series of phone, I um, will, I, what I would say is to really use your phone app. It works great. Unfortunately, your phone app seems to be mostly directed at people uh, that use Samsung Galaxy uh, phones. Uh, most Android phones don't do that much, which is sad because it would have been nice that they add these capabilities to more phones uh, for sure. And of course, there's a possibility to open the phone screen and do all sorts of things like that, which are quite, um, quite amazing when you think about it. And so uh, this is uh, really cool. You uh, have the ability to, of course, uh, 
have your phone screen. Here we go. And there's the, my phone screen. And uh, I can uh, actually just go to wherever I want to go. So here I was searching on the apps for, uh, you know, and I can do this and have the app go up. And there we go. Remove the app. You can pretty much do what you want on the, uh, the app and stuff. So uh, whatever you do, you uh, just choose and uh, play around with the screens. It's pretty cool when you look at the, uh, the app itself. So this is nothing new, by the way. Uh, of course, you know, this is uh, something that was already there. And making calls, receiving calls and notifications, uh, text messages and so on. Uh, but unfortunately, like I said, it's mostly for Samsung Galaxy users, unfortunately. Apart from that, uh, a few little tweaks here and there of uh, things they have personalized in keyboard shortcuts. Um, in Sounds in Windows 11, um, there's now um, a warning when Microsoft access, microphones are accessed and are, have been restricted in privacy settings. And what is probably the biggest, biggest thing is the fact that a lot of people were complaining that Explorer.exe would crash. What that does is that it kind of restarts all your desktop. It's the way Windows has been for such a long time. In the last build, it was crashing a lot. And apparently what now they have done is actually fix this. So if you had that refresh, constant refresh because of the Explorer EXE crashing, uh, that should be fixed in this build. So that's pretty much what I have to say. Uh, some of the stuff I don't have, some of the stuff I do. And, uh, well, whatever you are, uh, you might have some of the functionalities and stuff. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.